Hello everybody. In this video, we get extra output pin with shift registers. Let's reset it. All pin on, selected pin on, and uh, pins on, pins off, and then we get the binary counter. Let's get started with this. This is the shift register I'm using. Let's zoom in and see the other side like this. The shift register is here. The ground is this pin. VCC is this pin. And we can supply VCC from 2 to 6 volt. I am going to supply 5 volt. There are 8 outputs. The output 0 and 1 to 7. All together 8 output. There are 3 input. SCR, RCLK, SRCLK. So I put the 8 output here. And 3 input here. From this 3 input we are going to get the output. How it works is. When we have any value here. And then when you put this one to high and low, the clock signal, value here goes here, value here goes here, this value goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, and this one goes here. And next clock, it shift like this. So when you put the data and shift it with this clock eight times, so eight data comes here, and whenever we put this clock, and all the data pushes in and locks in. Uh, the wiring diagram is here. The pinout is here as it is. And uh, ground connected to ground and uh, OE pin. 5 volt connected to VCC and also SCLR pin. B6 connected to SCR. B8 connected to RCLK. B9 connected to SRCLK. And uh, there are seven LED and one more LED from here also. Eight LED together with the resistor, 220 ohm resistor to ground. Uh, for simplicity, for testing purposes, I have only put only one resistor uh, to test it. it. It will still work, but the brightness of the LED won't be as bright. The wiring connection is here. The STM2 side and... Uh, shift register side and I got blue wire from here to the LED also and I got only one resistor. Uh, now I am in the cube ID. If anybody doesn't know how to work with cube ID, I have made a separate video. It's available here. Let's click file, new, STM32 project. For the commercial part number we put F103C8. That's for the blue pill. This is the one and next I put a fine uh, shift for the name finish uh, we click system core uh, for sys debug serial wire uh, we zoom in we make this 3 pin as GPA output PB6 and PB8 and PB9. That's all the setting. We can click save. For simplicity, I have given the code in my website. Link is in the description below. This is the one. The diagram is here. The cube ID setting is here. The code, user code 0, we copy from here until user code end 0. That's here. We copy and we go to cube ID, user code 0, we paste it here. User code 2, we copy from here until here copy and uh, we paste it in user code 2 here we paste it now we can save so what's happening here in the user code 2 we put the value for all pins on 1111 and we write 
the right function is here is the right function what it does is it go from 1 to 8 and uh, and write the value for example if it is the current value like this we write this first value and then we shift this is the shifting uh, way and then we write the next value and the, uh, writing every pin we uh, set this uh, clock pin SRS CLK to high and low so whenever I put high and low it shifts so we do it for eight times and then finally we lock in by sending the RCLK pin high and low so that's the way we write eight pins and in the user code 2 we write all high and then we send uh, off off on 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 off off this this one and we write it and then we set all off all zero and we write it and then we select one pin at a time and we write it uh, hc right pin right pin is here i95 right pin uh, this is the way we write one pin at a time keeping the other pin as it is we only change the value of the selected pin and we write it we use the hc y95 to write so so we write one one zero to one one to one two to one like this after seven place to one and then we off it one by one now finally uh, this is the way to use the binary counter we go from zero to two five six five and we write that value this is the way we do the uh, binary counter uh, now we can upload the code okay yeah it's uploaded i have uploaded the code let's reset and see all pins on selected pins on one pin at a time on and one pin at a time off and uh, binary counter thank you very much for watching if you have any question write down in the comment section below i try to answer as much as i can thank you bye